Hey guys, welcome to our series of phrasal verb, and today is episode number one. Phrasal verb are very common. We sometimes use it without even noticing it. For example, let me turn on the light. Means like turn on turn on the light, right? Hey, it's so dark. Turn on the light. It's too bright. Can you turn off the light? So turn on and turn off are phrasal verbs that maybe you might don't even know that. And in today's video, we will look at some phrasal verbs, some common phrasal verb about the topic travel and transport. Let's get started. Number one is catch up with. Catch up with means to reach the same point or level as. Catch up with. For example, I ran a little faster to catch up with the others. Means I'm way too slow. I have to run faster in order to reach the same point as the others. Catch up with. There is actually another phrasal verb which has the same meaning. To catch up with is keep up with. Keep up with. My teacher said I need to keep up with the others since my results are way too low. So keep up with. All right. Next phrasal verb is check in and check out. Those are the opposite. So check in means to register at a hotel or at an airport. Check in. And the opposite of check in is check out to leave a hotel. So for example. All guests must be checked out by midday. There's actually another meaning of check out means to investigate. Investigate. For example, let's check out that new place Kate was talking about. Means that Kate she is actually talking about a new place. So let's investigate it. Let's you know visit that place. So check out also has the meaning of to investigate. All right. Next phrasal verb is drop off. Drop off. There are actually two meaning. The first meaning here is let someone get out of a vehicle. For example, my mom dropped me off outside the school gate. Means my mom let me like get off of a vehicle. So drop off. The next meaning is fall asleep. Fall asleep. For example. After a long day of work, he dropped off in front of the TV. Means he's too tired. He fell asleep in front of the TV. So two meanings. First meaning is let someone get out of a vehicle, and second meaning is to fall asleep. All right. Next phrasal verb is get back. Get back. Like get back here. You know, like someone might say that to you if you maybe like run too fast. Get back here. So get back means return from a place. Return from a place. So for example, when did you get back from holiday? When did you get back from holiday? All right. Next phrasal verb is go away. Go away. Go here does not mean to go away. Don't go near me. No, it does not mean to go away. There's actually in phrasal verb. There's another meaning. Go away means to go on holiday. So, for example, we go away every summer. So this summer we are thinking of going to maybe America. So go away means go on holiday. All right. Next phrasal verb. Go away. We have it. So next phrasal verb is pick up. Pick up. All right. The meaning of pick up is to stop in a vehicle to give someone a lift. To stop in a vehicle to give someone a lift. So, for example, I'll pick you up after school. I'll pick you up after school. All right. The next phrasal verb is pull in. Pull in. Now, because this is related to travel and transport, pull in means stop by the side of the road in a car. So, for example, could you just pull in for a second for me so that I can buy some fruits and groceries? Pull in, like it means that can you stop at the side a little bit for me to buy some fruits and groceries? So that's the meaning of pull in. All right, next phrasal verb: run over, 
run over. Run over means to hit with a car. So sad. Hit with a car. So, for example, Ben was run over outside her house because he's been taken to the hospital. Like Ben was run over outside his house, and he's been taken to the hospital means that he has been hit by a car, and now he's in the hospital. So run over, hit with a car. All right. Next phrasal verb is see off. See off. See off means to go to a train station, etc. To see someone leave. So for example, we all went to the bus station to see off our grandma. Yeah, to see our grandma, to see someone leave. Okay. Next phrasal verb is set out or set off. Set out or set off is to start a journey. Start a journey. Tomorrow, I will be setting off to a whole new country to start my new, my new life. Start like set out or set off. All right. Next phrasal verb is take off. Take off. Leave the ground. Usually, take off is usually used by a transportation, a plane. The plane will. The plane takes off at nine a.m. in the morning. The plane takes off at nine a.m. in the morning. All right. And our final phrasal verb in this first episode is turn around. Turn around is go back in the opposite direction. Like for example, I had to turn around because I forgot my keys. Turn around. All right, today we learned like a lot of phrasal verbs, so let's review them over. Catch up with, keep up with, check in, check out, drop off, get back, go away, pick up, pull in, run over. See off, set out, set off, take off, turn around. All right, happy learning! I'll see you in the second episode of this phrasal verb series. Bye.